Oh, mit deiner Terra fahren. Ja, ja, ja. Und dann der vor mich her Ja, ja, ja. We have an adopted son who's two and a half years old. The day he was born, we were called and asked if we wanted to come meet our son. When that phone call came, there was, there was nothing like it. The drive to the hospital, meeting him for the first time, holding him for the first time. I didn't have him, I didn't give birth to him, but it was like he was our son, it was meant to be, and it was instantaneous love. You know, we are a waiting family now and uh, waiting to adopt a second child. Uh, because we really want him to have a sibling and uh, we still think we have some love to give to, uh, to another child. Yeah, you, know, you always wonder, we, we, we tried to prepare ourselves, we tried to go to some, some uh, classes and uh, do some of our, definitely our own research and our own reading and uh, will that child ever feel like ours? Well, the first time you're thrown up on, peed on, uh, go all night with no sleep. You never think uh, that that child's not yours. Uh, we adopted Andres, he's four, and he's from Colombia, and um, he's a great addition to our family full of girls. He's, he's just amazing. Right away he bonded with, with Dave. You know, they had an instant bond, and the girls knew right away, they said it feels like he's always been with us. And it is true, sometimes I just look over and they're all sitting on the couch, you know, just snuggling and lounging around and it does really feel like he's always been, that he's always been with us and it was meant to be. He can be a little bit of a fighter, but you know, when you're, when you're a four-year-old who's, who's living in an orphanage and you've got cerebral palsy, you know, somebody comes by and, and some kid wants to borrow your toy for a couple of weeks, what can you do? I mean, you can't you can't get up and run after him. So he's got to he's got to be tough, and he's got a he's got a road ahead of him. He's a member of the family, so you don't even we don't even consider it as being anything other than he's just a member of the family. We are waiting for a beautiful boy from Seoul, Korea. His name is An Rayan, and we are patiently awaiting for our travel date to go pick him up. I come from a very big, close family, and. I had lost a child and my husband just basically said that it doesn't matter if the child is biological or not and we don't want to wait any longer and you need to be a mom and so you do it for that and I think you do it because you just want to give back. <laughs> and we received pictures of a big, the big event there, it's as big as a wedding, his first birthday celebration at social welfare with her foster parents. We can't wait to actually get to Korea and see where he's been living for the last year and a half. Um, you know, w what's that culture like? What's, you know, what's it all about? So um, we know we're going to bring him to a good life here, but we want to know where he came from. You know, adoption is really such a special thing to go through. You don't get the opportunity, you know, in many cases, you don't get the opportunity to actually have the baby that you always thought you were going to be able to have. And then after time going through all these you know, days and months and years of trying to get pregnant and, you know, the devastating moments. There are humiliating moments. There are certainly disappointing moments and it's heartbreaking. So adoption was our savior. It was the best thing that could have happened to us. But it's an incredible unselfish gift that, that any girl uh, that does not want to parent a child can do for someone. Adoption is an amazing thing for the birth mother for the foster families, for the orphanage, for the country, for our country, and obviously for the child. And the money and the donations and everything that everyone has contributed throughout the year, and especially today, helps to continue the cause and the work that Baker Victory does. And we are forever grateful to all of you sitting in the room, for every one of you, for your donations, for your support and your love. And it's, I feel, it's my responsibility to continue to share what's changed my life with other people so that they can realize that there is hope and there is an option and life doesn't always go the way that you thought, but it can actually end up even better. <laughs>